ball to be lined up correctly, so no advantage. And in here and in here can make a little bit of a difference. And you've got uh, the likes of Matty Smith out there doing some great work with their number 65 boat, which is about ready to go racing for race two. And Jason King, what a great start by King in the Marine Tech number 155. But it's a macho man, Matty Smith, holding his side. A big shower there for Cartry, running second. Third place, the Bonds, fourth, the King. But look at this battle for first. Oh, look at Page on the outside of Bonds, taking over third on the outside of Bonds. He's going to hold on here. It's a good run from uh, Yanto Cadre side by side with uh, Matty Smith on the start. Page on the outside now. Tim Bollins in third at the moment. Page runs out on the outside, goes out wide, allows Bollins to get some good clean racing room. And the tussle for third is going to be the one to watch immediately. What a battle we had there for a moment. Well, he's still got it going on. I just lost him there for a moment. He's in the spray of Bollins there. Then he comes out and gets ground once again. Of course, Page running in fourth, just behind Tim Bollins. He's uh, slowed a little bit, uh, Page. They're not quite sure. Not a bad. Just got lost in the spray a little bit, but it's still Smith from Cadre. Bollins. Page has moved up on the outside. Well, Jason King doing a good run too, right on the hammer of Michael Page. We see uh, Page, he was uh, moved back uh, a position there. He held third for a little while, but he's back and forth. But still a macho man, Matty Smith. Could this be a huge weekend for the Smith family? Of course, uh, young Joel, the son of Matty, doing some great stuff in moving at Jake Creek class this weekend. Cadre showing a lot of uh, straight line speed, but just uh, doesn't have the torque in the corners that the uh, yellow number 65 does. Still third, Bollins fourth, uh, still Page. Jason King being moved back to uh, sixth place. Next is Wedlock and bring up the tail, the Tasmanian Tigers, Tas uh, Scotty Cleary in the number 11 machine. He just sat off the line for Matty Smith and he's uh, certainly under a fair bit of attack from Yando Kadri, isn't he? Yeah. He certainly is. Oh, yeah, they're on the outside. <laughs> Tight work from Yanto, oh. really on the hammer there, Craig. Oh, is he? What? Guttle, guttle. you got to love this. If this doesn't turn you on, you haven't got a switch and it's uh, the macho man, Matty Smith, still leading from Kadri. Kadri Dave can, can only, he's dropped back a couple of boat lengths. Yeah, he just ran a little bit too wide, I think lost a, uh, a couple of hundred revs, which is enough to say quite dramatically. You can see him they just picking up a bit of speed on that back leg. Timmy Bollins, he's holding out uh, Page pretty convincingly at the moment. Kadri a little bit of air under the nose, drops it back in. I'll be pretty disappointed there because he was right up on the uh, right gunnel of Matt Smith's boat there. Will we see another repeat of Tari, Dave Canal, where he came from right around the outside of Michael Page uh, to take uh, a race free win at Tari earlier in January? Yeah, we're getting up to half race distance the way that uh, King's going. It's certainly a possibility. He just seems to be nibbling away at that lead bit by bit. We're just trying to pick up where the other guys are and... Uh, Matty Smith, I tell you what, he's uh, managed to find a good turn of speed, as you mentioned a little while ago, they're both been running very, very well. Yanto, yeah, so, well, he hasn't rolled the boat, but the tape's come loose on that cowling. This is a uh, replacement one that they needed after uh, they lost to the Penrith a couple of weeks ago. And that uh, will hurt the aerodynamics of that boat as well, Craig. That was slowing dramatically. <laughs> and that's 
doesn't seem to have hurt him that much. He still seems fairly rapid out there on the water. Probably say he's going to go quick because he's got some weight. Courtesy of AR, one of our great sponsors this weekend, Greg Adams from Adams Sports Boat. Greg just tells me with the accounting of the boat, it will affect the aerodynamics of the boat, and uh, at top speed, the boat will become a little flighty, as Greg calls it. But we can still see the cow in the. Uh, it's off the racing line now. With the uh, lap ticking down. We don't need to get three or four left in it, so waiting on the uh, the pitchers to use the eye play to save his one lap left. Page is in a really solid fourth at the moment. But he's got uh, Tim Bollins in his sights. He's slowed a little bit then coming out of that top turn during the break, so he's uh, lost a bit of space. And he seems to gather it up. And Bollins doing a good job, had a good start off the line. But at the moment, it's um, Manny Smith proving unstoppable in the end too. Yeah, he certainly is, and uh, got the bit between his teeth now, Dave. I think he's uh, fought off the challenge of Yanto. As uh, Greg Adams did advise us, that will affect the aerodynamics of the boat. So uh, Yinto may pack everything up and just be satisfied with a solid second placing. You know, once the race is done, obviously the first thing we're going to uh, grab that parallel, you know, like trying to find some thousand mile and I'll take the hold it on. Last lap flag is out. That is a borrowed cowling, by the way, so Yando yeah, no, would want to get his hands on that very, very shortly. As you said, Dave, they are on their last lap, just going down to Kim Hollage, back straight. Still third, Smith, second, Kadri, Bolland third, you call him in, Dave. Waiting on the chicken flag to come out. The Grand Poobard has it in his hand, ready to wave. And it's another win. For the mad Newcastle based Matt Smith. Comes through for a pretty convincing first two from two. Yato Kadri home into second place. Oh, uh, be a little bit disappointed with that. Tim Bollins, good run for 10.